All right, I'm gonna show you what the majority of Americans do with their money and how you can be different. What I have behind me here is the financial timeline. For a person that's 30 years old, and then in five years, what they're gonna be spending their money on and during their life. What most people do is they save up money and then they spend their cash on it. Most people don't realize this, but there's only two ways to purchase something. You finance it by borrowing money from someone else, or you save up your money and spend that cash. But the problem is, we don't see it on a balance sheet, but we actually lose the ability to ever earn interest on that dollar again because we've deployed our capital into something. We've bought something with it. So the majority of Americans will save up their money and then they'll go and spend it because now, okay, they are in control, but they've now lost the ability to earn income or earn interest on their dollar. So what we find out is whether this number for you is 30,000, 50,000 or a hundred million dollars, it's irrelevant. We're seeing on this timeline as we save up and spend, we're actually never getting anywhere with our dollar as we accumulate things. The difference is with infinite banking is as we run money through our policies, we're actually able to capture the growth to never interrupt compound interest and still allowing ourselves to continue to build this compound interest curve, never interrupt it and have all the growth inside of our policy tax free while still getting all the same things. Don't take any more risk or change how you live. Just have more money and more control. If you want to learn exactly what infinite banking is and how to structure it in your life, give me a follow. Click the link in my bio and I'll show you how.